Hi there owls, welcome back to June Media, the channel where you can learn about software automation, technology in general, and marketing. It's a pleasure to have you here again. So hope I, I hope that you're actually learning a lot of automation stuff right now with this channel. And if you are, please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of feedback or any question. And if it is in my hands, I will be more than glad to take a look and try to answer you, all right? So today we're gonna have a very interesting video which is related to the, um, the data-driven testing. And we're gonna try to get involved uh, with this concept using Test Cafe, all right? So we're gonna... Um, well, use a JSON file uh, to have test data, for example, and then integrate those uh, or actually that data into a test, right? Use that uh, data as parameters to uh, set conditions or read data or I don't know, a lot of possibilities that we could have in our hands. So, um, well, let's try to understand what is data-driven testing. And it is basically, um, Data driven testing is a procedure when you repeat the same test scenario with different input parameters, all right, and then verify the result with a given output values. Basically, uh, as you can see in this graphic uh, over here, it's basically that you are going to have a data file that will have all the data and information that you have to enter or validate. Then uh, that data will be received by the driver script. And then uh, we're going to have a kind of, um, well, we're going to enter or get the information that we need. And then we're going to compare the actual and out the actual output with the expected output to see if the data file has the correct uh, or actually if you are expecting something in specific you can validate it with the data file so let's try to get this concept in test cafe and let's see the test scenario that i have for you today all right so um, i have this website which is very interesting and we're gonna uh, try to emulate a very simple scenario all right it is gonna be the login page and we're, we have uh, two different scenarios over here. We're going to cover the login or actually the successfully scenario and also the failure. Um, the first uh, success scenario is using the username Tom, Tom Smith, all right, and the super secret password. And just entering those values, we can um, log in and we're going to get. Oh, oh my God, let me just take a look at what is happening. Let me just enter this again, Tom Smith, and super secret password. There it is. If we log in successfully in the in the application, we should get this message over here. You locked into a secure area. However, if we enter a um, with different or invalid credentials, we're gonna get a. Um, a different message which is your username is invalid all right so um, we're gonna have these two scenarios inside of test data file we're gonna have um, in our framework a new folder named data all right I just want to let you know that this project is up to date in the repository that I have in Bitbucket if you want to clone it you can just go ahead and clone it and have the latest updates of it so i just wanted to let you know that so just to continue in the project in the data uh, folder we have i actually have created a data.json file i'm sorry and inside of this uh, data.json file uh, we have two data sets uh, actually two uh, data objects actually with information inside all right so using the the json notation i have the do the both scenarios that i want using for example in the first in the first uh, test object uh, the, the valid username tom smith in the password uh, the valid password super secret password and then I have a um, well. Uh, I have this successfully message that I want to test. All right, this is up to you. I just wanted to show you this kind of scenario, and you can apply the logic for any other um, 
well a scenario that you have in real life right and then i have another data object which is the invalid scenario so we, i have an invalid username i have an invalid password and also and the expected result that i i am ac actually expecting right since it is going to be a invalid scenario so Mm, well, the, the next part that I want to explain to you is basically how we can uh, mix or actually kind of join this JSON file into a test, right? So I have created another test, a folder inside tests, which is um, data driven test, right? And inside of that folder, I have data driven example.js and here i have all the code that we need basically uh, for this video you you have to know how to manage selectors in test cafe you have to know uh, well how to assert or actually manage assertions in test cafe so i highly recommend you if you haven't seen those videos yet you can just go ahead and uh, check the the well the playlist that i have uh, for a uh, test cafe tutorial and you can check those videos before you came in and came here and and try this all right but if you are experienced a bit <laughs> at least and you want to try this please just uh, go ahead and and try to understand this all right so in this uh, data driving example.js file i have the normal uh, structure that uh, we have been uh, watching in, in the last video. So right, I have uh, the import section at the top of the of the JS file with uh, importing actually the selector library or actually the selector API. Is, um, well, it, it is gonna be bring the test controller, which is gonna represent the web browser, uh, right? And I also bring out the client function from test cafe. Then I have a required um, comment over here, which is gonna be the way that we include a module over here, all right? So I have declared a constant variable named dataset, and it is gonna require the uh, JSON file that I have in my project. So basically I just, um, well, use this structure to uh, reference the location of my file. As you can see here, it is gonna uh, actually be pointing to data, data.json and that's how we can assign that value to the constant variable all right so then i have another uh, global variable that i'm not gonna use so this actually can be deleted if you want <laughs> but uh, i just decided to uh, let it there don't, don't worry about it and i then have a fixture the fixture which uh, we know the concept but basically is a kind of a test suite that can allow a, a lot of tests inside of it so uh, it is a kind of test suite all right that's basically how i can define fixture in test cafe and then we have a um, the method of how we're gonna iterate uh, from each um, test object all right so i have this function over here which is gonna be data set it is the representation or actually the constant variable that I have defined at the top of this script. And then using that for each method of JavaScript, I'm going to iterate um, to get, well, all the test objects that I have uh, in, the, in the JSON file. All right. So each single data will represent a bracket block. All right. And that's how we're going to uh, loop to get um, all the data, data objects uh, validated as we want. So I just want to uh, continue with this. And inside of this loop, I have a test, all right? And inside of, inside of this test, um, well, I actually am calling this website, which is the website that I showed you before, this one over here. Mm -hmm. And then, um, well, I have defined a test name, which is login page. And the way that I am going to make sure that, um, well, that my tests are, uh, or actually the, the way that I want to identify my test cases in console lock, or the way that I, that I want, the, the way that I want to display these results in a, in another report, for example, is using the expected result. All right. Which is this value over here. So it is going to have a test name depending on the data that expected result depending on the uh, loop or actually the index that we're uh, looping through right 
So uh, yeah, so that's basically this this first line of the test, and then uh, it is kind of the normal stuff that that we have been working on on the last videos, and it's basically uh, using the await and the t uh, keyword which represents a um, test controller, right? And then I just uh, maximize it the window, and I I'm actually doing a type text uh, comment in order to. Um, get this uh, data printed or actually typed in the uh, input uh, elements in the DOM, all right? So I'm actually looking for these elements. Let me show you the um, uh, the, the result actually in the, in the Chrome console. Um, yep, in the Chrome console. <laughs> and if you take a look of this selector, it is actually, uh, well, pointing to the username input. All right, and the another selector that I have over here is the same example, but for um, password. So that's the way that I am pointing uh, the the web elements that I need. All right, and also I have the um, the button over here. I just have one button in my in the website right now, <laughs> so I just needed to uh, declare the the button element as a selector. So. That's good. And as you can see over here at the at the right of this uh, line, in the 20 uh, line, I just decided to use the data.username and data.password that, uh, that this data is actually coming from the uh, test object, right? Username and password. So it is gonna uh, depends on the, on the data that is actually looping right so in the first um in the first execution it is gonna take this uh, data object and then it is gonna use the second uh, test data of the second test object so that's amazing right i, I think that it is very clear and and if not please let me know in the comments below for sure so once i have typed the the username and the password and then click on the button i should get a well a success or an a failure message right so i just um well i'm kind of using this selector to get the uh, message in text right so i'm using this diff and as you can see inside of the diff i have the 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 text that i need so using um the selector that inner text it is going to return that text that uh, the well the html has inside right so using that command i'm gonna get the text and then i'm gonna compare that text with the uh, actual or actually the uh, well, the expected result that I just provided in the data.json file, all right? If in the first case, it is it has to be a success message, right? But in the second case, it should be an invalid uh, scenario. So that's the way that I'm gonna use the JSON file to get everything um, working on together. And let's try to, to uh, run this uh, test to see if it is working as we expect. Basically, I just have another thing over here new, uh, and it is basically inside the package uh, that JSON file, and it is uh, a new script. Uh, I have declared a new script named test uh, data driven, all right, and it is pointing to the uh, folder that I need and the JS file that I want to run. If you want to take more context and if you want to know how this uh, package that JSON um, well, how it works, you can take a look at the past videos about Task Cafe and you for sure will understand how to use uh, the package that JSON to run and execute your test suite. So that's it. I guess that um, let's try to run this script, all right? So I'm gonna uh, write down in the console npm run and the uh, script name. And as you probably will see, it is gonna open up the web browser, all right? And it is gonna start, uh, well, using the data that we had in the JSON file, and we're actually getting the, uh, well, the successfully and the uh, failure scenario as we expected. And in the console log, you can see, well, uh, how, 
or actually the the past results of of each test as you can see um well the, the this test was executed twice since there was two uh, test objects or actually uh, yes and uh, well two objects inside of this test data all right so uh, i guess that that's it that's the video that i had for you today and i hope that you really like it i i guess that this is uh, something that you can use for other scenarios for example signing uh in a, in a form if you want to have a list of urls you can go ahead and use this this information it is just a kind of simple example to get you in context and you can use this uh, where well <laughs> in the way that you need it or actually need in your current work all right so i appreciate you watch this video and i hope that i can see you soon in a, a well a new a new video of any other test cafe or any other test framework out there so really appreciate the uh, well the bit the, the basic and i hope to see you soon goodbye